Welcome back to lesson one. In part three, we are going to look at how we raise and lower the world. Let's begin. Here, I have started a new world again. A quick recommendation before you start adding features to your world is first to select the painter brush and increase its size. Click to add a large square area. Now we need to select the raise and lower tool as shown here. This tool can be used to add depth to your terrain, so you can create hills or valleys. I recommend you increase your brush size again, so that it is larger than the world you have painted. Then hold down the left mouse button for a few seconds until you have created a world of greater depth. This way, if you decide you need valleys and rivers, you can add them easily. With a small brush size, you can start adding mountains or just raising the terrain by using the left mouse button as you can see here. Or alternatively, you can use the right mouse button to cut into the terrain to lower it. This way you create valleys or later rivers. Sometimes when you have raised or lowered the terrain, you will find your characters cannot get up or down it. The next tool we'll look at is the flatten tool. This can be used to create smoother gradients in your world. Again, you can use the left or right mouse buttons with this. Using the left mouse button and rubbing or ironing over an area slowly smooths it out and creates gentle slopes. Using a right mouse button flattens the world. My recommendation here is to select a flat piece of terrain that is at the height you want it to be. Then hold the right mouse button, then move over the part of the terrain you want flattening. You may need to spend a long time using this tool, but the final results will be worth it, as your land will be smoother and more consistent. The final tool to play with is the noise tool. This allows you to make terrain jagged and rough. Spend time playing with these tools, creating different types of landscapes and getting confident with how each tool works. Also, remember to try the different types of brush. Softer rounder brushes make nicer hills and mountains. Square tools make good platforms for platform games. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the final video of lesson one.